Hi, welcome back to the Amber Shows. Everyone was so interested in my head transplant information video that I decided to look up some other things that are going on in the medical field that is in our near future. The future now is when the doctor's office will be in your home. Your smartphone will make it cheaper, faster, better, and safer. So there's a book called The Patient Will See You Now. It's all about the mobile health that's going to transform healthcare. Right now, in the year already 2000, uh, they do monitor heart rhythms. Already you can do that from home, and you can do it from over the Internet. And this company started in the year 2000, so now they have really, really advanced. Now all you need is a credit card, and you get your heart rhythm monitoring through the phone, and it's already FDA approved. You can buy it for $69 on Amazon, have it delivered to your door, and have your rhythm monitored no matter where you are. The hospital is merely an edifice. We don't need it except for intensive care units and operating rooms. Everything else can be done safely and more conveniently and more economically right from the patient's bedroom. So, switching from inpatient surgery to outpatient surgery, so many operations are done now as outpatient. So we already do it. You can have a stent put in your heart as an outpatient procedure right now. Hospitals will become data surveillance centers in the future. Uh, the data is going to come from the community, the region. Everything will afford uh, it about being the cheapest because anybody can afford it. You can get a smartphone made in China for, for simply $35. So everybody will be able to use this. No matter how cheap the phone is, you have a mobile signal. They're everywhere. So one day, right now, hospital stay for one day is $4,500 in the United States. The cost of that trade-off is around the corner for us regular folks. The billionaires, especially the old money billionaires like the Rockefellers, the DuPonts, the Bushes, they have their own hospitals already set up in their own homes. All the big tech companies are getting into this type of medicine, though, using your smartphone, Google, Apple, Facebook, Salesforce.com. But the real innovation isn't coming from them, but from startup companies. Uh, UCLA is one of the startup companies that they do your x-rays through your phone. There's an app, so when you take your picture of the part of the body that you want x-ray, you just send it straight to them. And then this is called the selfie future because now you don't even have to go to the hospital to do, to do your x-rays. So we have to get the privacy security part cleaned up though first and there are lots of validation and clinical trials that are going on. And many people want the human factor. Some people want to be able to see their doctor, talk to their doctor in person. But the future is you'll be doing it right from your phone. Is that amazing? It's totally amazing. I love it. Technology is a wonderful thing. My brother-in-law, Will, to switch up on things, he says that he doesn't think that I've done enough about talking about black uh, issues. So, I do have, I'm, I'm perfect for black issues because I love talking about my own people and I'm very well versed uh, in my history. Right now, what's going on that I'm really pissed about, about this reserve officer, the reserve officer Robert Bates, he shot that black man uh, who was, he thought, he's telling everyone that he thought he was using his taser, instead he was using his gun, he actually got on television with his family and they were all patting him on his shoulders in support as he stood up and showed that he used, he thought he was using his taser when he went into his chest and pulled out a, t a gun and killed the black guy that was running. So. First off, you're, he, he already admitted that he knew that his gun was on his side and his taser was in his chest. So I don't understand how he's not uh, in jail and, and not um, being pros prosecuted uh, for the murder of this young man. So I am upset about that. Also in, in uh, Missouri, uh, Friday night, a young man uh, was holding his parents in their home uh, almost uh, you know, in fear and the mother called the police. The police came. They finally talked the man out of the house, and he came out of the house with a knife and with a Bible. The police officers tried to talk him into putting the knife down. He didn't, and they shot and they killed him right in front of his mother and father. I think, why didn't he taser? Why wasn't he tasered? I don't understand. He had a knife. He didn't even have a gun. So, you know, everything is going on. But I, a friend of mine also who watches my show, she told me, she said, you know what, Amber, she said that black 
lives do matter, but these police officers have been getting away with killing black people for years and years and years. So this is not something new. But again, with this new technology, the internet and social media, everything now is coming to the forefront. There were a lot of people who actually did not know or believe us when we said that we were being treated differently than white people. So now with the smartphones and the internet, you can research or see it for yourself, take a picture of it when you see it happening. And now you know that it does happen and it is happening. Well, you guys, I hope you're having a wonderful Sunday. I do have more information for you later. I want to give a shout out to share it because she'll be able to tell her doctor all about the smartphone and home hospitals. All right. So have a wonderful day. Hey, brother-in-law, I gave one of your topics to you. I hope you're happy about it. Talk to you later.